Health experts say the availability of coronavirus tests is improving. Drive-through testing for the COVID-19 virus is popping up all over the country with sites now operating in Cobb and Douglas counties. However, the official numbers are lagging days behind the actual count of people infected because results are taking so long to come in. Brendan Keith investigates. <coughs> Journalist Nicole Vapp never wanted to become the story. Just gave all my information and they gave us a testing kit. She leads the investigative team at Nine News in Denver. But now she's being investigated for COVID-19 because of symptoms and contact with someone who already tested positive. Okay, one more to go. We got this. The drive through tests keep potentially infected patients out of hospitals, away from vulnerable health care providers and each other. Uh, okay. But these instant tests don't come with instant results. It said it would be 72 hours. Even though my doctor told me it'd be 24, they said it would be 72. And I still haven't had results. The vast majority of tests currently conducted in the United States are genetic. The patient is swabbed and then that sample is sent to the lab, which copies the DNA to match it against the genetic fingerprint of the coronavirus. It's a four hour test that typically takes days between the moment the sample is collected and when the results are sent to the doctor. The genetic test shows only if the virus was in your body at the time the sample was taken. We're just sitting here waiting. Nicole got no answer for five days. Then right after this interview, she got the news. She was negative. If someone's getting a test result back five days later, it just tells them they were negative five days ago. It doesn't tell them they're negative now. Exactly. It's kind of a useless test at that point. Some countries are using a test that involves a blood draw. The blood is sent to a lab which doesn't detect the virus itself, but looks for the antibodies we produce to fight the virus. That test takes the lab a few hours before the results are sent to the doctor. The antibody test shows if the patient has ever had the virus, including people who have recovered and would otherwise show up negative on the genetic test. There's so many people that could have this that are running around. Researchers around the globe are racing to develop an instant test that could be used in a doctor's office or emergency room with immediate positive or negative results. For now, here in the U.S., the people who can actually get in line to wait for a test then have to wait days longer to hear the verdict. A positive test does not affect the treatment of the individual, but the total numbers do help track the spread of the virus and allow public health officials to send resources to hotspots.